All right, all right. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen. I thank the Lord for another beautiful and blessed day it is. I hope and pray that everybody is doing well. Um, going just another step deeper, and I'll be through with um, these videos about hell and the lake of fire and the difference. And um, I guess this will be a part three or part four. And like I said, I'll be through after this because the last one I did, um, it was some comments made on there. Uh, with my girl Kathy and she made a statement um, about we all going to hell going to the grave and um, I understand the comment and um, she knows the true meaning of what hell really is the grave and sister Kathy if you're looking at this video big shout out to you um, I saw where y'all was going back and forth you and um, 719 police or whatever but I understand both, both of what y'all was saying and um People have to really do the true studying to get the understanding on hell. And uh, that's what I was trying to tell my girl Kate on her. See, one thing about JT, JT don't stop at one scripture. You know, when they, when I talk about hell, I don't just, I don't I don't stop at the rich man and Lazarus because when it says the, the rich man, you know, lifted up his eyes and he was in Hades, which was hell. And the reason I want to do this video because now I want to tie it in with Revelation which means to reveal. And this will give you another true understanding on why JT says what he says about hell being a common grave. Now, when you look um, in Revelation, going back to John and his vision, on the day he was taken up in the spirit of the Lord. And let me say this too about Revelation. If you don't catch that first part right there, you got a lot of debating about that, but check what the Bible says. John wasn't taken up, you know, physically somewhere to this place. John was on the island of Patmos when he was recording everything and it said he was taken up on the spirit on the day of the Lord. So he was in visions just like if you at church or if you in your home, you feel in the spirit, you caught up in the Holy Ghost, can't nobody tell you nothing about that really because that's personal. I mean tell you about what was going on with you and God in so many ways because it's personal so you have to catch that in Revelation. John was taken up in the spirit on the Lord's day. So, like I say, when you go back to Revelation and you look at um, the fifth seal, around about the time the fifth seal was open. Now, remember, Revelation deals with past, present, and future. Just trying to do a little bit more teaching. This is why I try to rightly divert, uh, excuse me, rightly divide the word, people. I can't just stop at one thing. JT has went from the front of the Bible to the back of the Bible, from the back of the Bible back to the front of the Bible. That's why you see me do a part three or part four because I can't put it all in one video. Now, when you go back, like I said, around by when the uh, fifth seal was open, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the fifth seal, what John saw in his vision, you heard me in Revelation talk about those souls that was under the altar. Who were they? See, this is going to tie you in with is hell really burning and, and, and got people in on fire or it's some of God's people sitting in the grave. Going to make you think in this video. Now, those souls who had been slain, go to Revelation um, 6, chapter 6. Look around verse 9. Who was those souls crying out under the altar of heaven? See, that's where you got to catch this stuff. Jesus revealed uh, the meaning of the seven seal while he was on earth, actually. And we, we re remember that Christ's number is seven. This is why you got all this confusion because people taking you out of here for the seven trump. And long as I can remember, six come before seven. Seven is the number of completion. I like to say spiritual completion. Something about the number seven. And the Lord loves the number seven. And you can't make six, uh, six come out of seven. This is why Christ comes not before Satan finished doing everything. The devil have to come first and then Christ. That's why you see things happening the way they happening now. All of this stuff. See, you got to believe in your mind that it's going to get better, but you got to also believe it's going to get worse before it get better. Why? Because Satan got to do everything he got to do. Now, like I was saying, back to these souls that was crying out. If you get to Revelation chapter 6, I believe, and look around verse 9, there were some souls crying out. And they was told that they got to rest a little while longer to hold on because some more of them was going to be killed. Just like they, you know, they had to 
hold on, because they was crying out, Lord, Lord, how long is it going to be before you come back and redeem us? How long is it going to be? They wanted justice. So you can tell off of that scripture, they was in a holding tank. Hmm. Because they was what? Waiting on God to return. That's why I don't just stop at one scripture, people. You have to keep reading the Bible. You got to rightly divide the word. You got to study. Because like I say, most people don't know this because most people won't open up Revelation. They skip over Revelation and that's why I say I don't stop at uh, St. Luke with the rich man lifting up his eyes. That's why I said Hades, hell, Sheol is the grave. And that's why I said what I said in the last video. And when you look at Revelation, these people were killed. And they had to remain in their place, their grave, whatever, they holding tank. Like my girl Grace True Teacher was saying, they have to remain there. So really... They was just simply saying, how long, Lord, will it be before you return? How long is it going to be before you get those that got us? We want, we want to see revenge. They was waiting. Now, that's why I say they want to see revenge. They was crying out. The dead saints. That's why I said the rich man was alive. He could still see, and he was still talking. Now, if you burning that hard, burning, 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 how is it able? How is it you able to still talk? Hmm. And that's why Kathy was saying what she said in the last video about hell is the grave. See, she sees hell the same way I see hell. By hell, I can't take the word of God and change it, people. When when the Greek word when it says that that's what it means the common grave. JT can't change that. I'm sorry. I wish I could, but I cannot change that. That's why I don't fur hell when people talk about hell, the grave, because I know one day I got to die. And I know the, the true meaning on being absent from the body means to be present with, pre, present with the Lord. Excuse me. You have to catch that scripture. See, you might say the Bible contradicting itself just off this Revelation 6 and 9 uh, I'm talking about because well, they was killed. They was dead. Why they wasn't, wasn't they already w w with the Lord? So why is it they waiting on the Lord? That's why people say Paul contradicts what Jesus say. But see, like I say, you always got to look at the long run of what Jesus say. Yes, Paul was awesome, but Paul also made mistakes. And and I always say it was either Paul made some mistake or some of these translators they translated the stuff. With their words that they chose to use, it kind of messed up a lot of stuff. So when you look at these souls under the altar that's, that's crying out, how long, Lord, do you think I'm lying? Open up Revelation. So you can honestly say, were they in hell? Hmm. Or where was they at while they was waiting on Christ to return? This is why you got to keep reading, people. I'm not trying to call nobody dumb or nothing. I'm just saying, JT don't stop at one scripture. JT goes through the whole entire Bible and I love it because that's what the Bible told us also. Search the scriptures. If you're not sure about something and you need to pray about it and tell God to reveal it to you, show you in the spirit. That's what God do with me. That's why a lot of people won't agree with a lot of stuff I say because God shows me in the spirit. I don't just get in the Bible and open up and start reading. I pray, Lord, take me there. Take me where you want me to go. And I do a lot of studying, people. Not, not to say that I'm all of that but I do a lot of study, and I'm talking about hours and hours and hours. I love the word of God because he told me to spread it. How can I spread it if I'm not studying it? That's why when you see me do these part threes and part fours, I'm getting you to look at it another angle. Revelation 6 and 9 teaches you about these souls that was crying out. That's why uh, I could understand, and I agree fully with what Sister Kathy was saying um, about hell. Because somebody asked me a question, why would that sister make a, a remark like that? Um, because she was telling the truth. I know most people don't want to hear that. That's why I said in the last video, when people tell me to go to hell, I tell them I see you there. I see you there. Because I know I know what hell is. People all their life been talking, but you go to hell. You know, you burning, you burning, you dead. You, you, I mean, you, you can't get out of that. Such, such, this. Oh, man, that's why I go deep and tell you that hell will be judged. That's why I say you can look at this holding place, the dark place, the grave. These people was not with Christ. 
They was crying out, waiting, and wanted to, they wanted to know how long it was going to be before Christ came back and redeemed them. Get those who got them, like I said, they want to see justice. That's why I said, make you wonder about what Paul was saying about being absent from the body means to be present with the Lord. That's why I broke that down in the older video, explaining how you can look at that different ways. And um, it's just a lot to learn, people. So now you can see the difference when I talk about hell and the lake of fire. That's why I said, let me say this again in this video. If hell is torment like y'all, like a lot of people like to say it is, and people are really on fire and burning like that, then people are going to get a, a, a double judgment. And that means that they burning like hell right now. And then when hell is, when, when it's judged, by Jesus in Revelation, like it says, that mean they're going to get a double judgment and be cast in the lake of fire too. So he's going to take them out of fire and put them in some more fire. No, I, I don't see that, people. I'm sorry. I just can't agree with that. That's double judgment. That's, that's too much. That's why I said when you look at the physical place of lake of fire, that is eternal. Hell, Hades, the grave will be judged. Jesus said, I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to judge it. And those whose name is not in the in the book of life, they are not going to inherit the kingdom. So that's why I talk about the difference of hell. These people in Revelation 6, they was in hell. And those were saints. Uh-oh. I just said something. Yes, those were saints. Where else were they? Where else were they at? Anytime you all not with Christ. <laughs> I'm listen to what I'm saying. You are not with Christ. Then, where are you? That's your holding place. Until Christ say, come on in. Come on in, faithful servant. Now it's time to come on in. And why I say this? So that's giving people double punishment by putting them in hell. If you, if you look at hell that way, and then they're going to be judged again and then burning forever and forever. Now, I don't, I don't see that, people. But that's just me. That's how I look at it. Somebody else might look at it different. So, And it's all good. Ain't nothing wrong with disagreeing. I tell people that all the time. That's why I said when I look at the rich man and Lazarus, that part about torment, you have to look at that in the spirit also. Because he was messed up because he wasn't where Lazarus was. And he could still see. He could still talk. I told y'all in the old, old video, that gulf, I explained about the gulf in between that, that, that he couldn't go where they was at. And it was still possible for him to be saved because he wasn't in the lake of fire. He was only in his grave. See, that's, that's going deep. Because I, the Jesus, they didn't say, they didn't, in the Bible didn't say that that man really was all that bad. But he was in his holding place. Just like these saints on the altar, they wasn't in heaven yet. They was waiting to get there. They was waiting on revenge from the Lord to get those. And they're going to see it. Hmm. So that's why I say hell, like my girl Grace True Teacher say. Whatever you want to call it. Hell, Sheol. That's why I say it's the holding tank. Sheol, Hades, hell, the grave. So Sister Kathy made that statement. You know, she was telling the truth. But most people don't see it like that. I believe she said it like this, that uh, a lot of people are, we all going to hell because we all got to pass through the grave. She said, unless you are cremated, and a lot of people got, got mad at that statement that she made, and that's, that's all good, you know, because she understands truly what the grave is. A lot of people don't. So, and it takes studying to understand that and you're not going to get it on one scripture. You got to go through the word. It's, writ it's written again, and like, I think the lake of fire is written also in uh, Matthew Matthew, if I'm not mistaken, you got to go through the word, people. Search the scriptures, rightly divide the word. God bless you.